Now then, Scotland's First Minister and the SNP leader, Nicola Sturgeon, has described the actions of an MP, Margaret Ferrier, as utterly indefensible after she admitted, the MP admitted, breaking COVID rules. In the last few minutes, Ms Sturgeon tweeted that this is utterly indefensible. It's hard to express just how angry I feel on behalf of people across the country. Making hard sacrifices every day to help beat COVID, the rules apply to everyone and they're in place to keep people safe. Uh, and uh, Ian Blackford, uh, MP, who's the uh, SNP's leader in the House of Commons in Westminster, is right to suspend the whip. That from um, the SNP overall leader, Nicola Sturgeon, First Minister of Scotland. And uh, our chief political correspondent, John Craig, is here with me now. Just better explain to people who, who aren't fully across what, what's happened here is what Margaret Ferrier did. Amongst other things, she tested positive while in London attending the House of Commons. She tested positive uh, for COVID-19 and then travelled on a train from, from London to Scotland. She travelled on the train before she got the results of the test. Uh, what happened? Well, it's a spectacular breach of the rules in a number of ways. Let me just read what uh, uh, but, uh, uh, Margaret Ferrier has said. She is the MP for uh, uh, Rutherglen and Hamilton West in Scotland. Uh, and she said in a statement tonight... I apologise unreservedly for breaching COVID-19 restrictions by travelling this week when I shouldn't have. There's no excuse for my actions, she says. On Saturday afternoon, after experiencing mild symptoms, I requested a COVID test, which I took that day, Saturday. Feeling much better, I then travelled to London by train on Monday to attend Parliament, as planned. This was wrong, and I'm very sorry for my mistake. On Monday evening, I received a positive test result for COVID-19. I travelled home by train on Tuesday morning without seeking advice. This was also wrong, and I'm sorry. I've been self-isolating at home ever since. Well, she didn't just attend Parliament. She spoke on Monday evening, either just before or just after. She got the positive test result. She spoke in the Commons debate on Monday night on covid I'd like to start by paying tribute to all NHS key workers and volunteers in my constituency for their care and commitment over the last seven months. I'm going to focus my comments on the economic health. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say, she also did she not criticise in, in the past, criticise uh, Dominic Cummings, Indeed. The, the Boris Johnson's advisor. Back in, uh, back in late May, she hit out at Mr Cummings, said his actions have undermined that the sacrifices we've all been making in lockdown to protect others. His position's untenable. He must be removed from his post now. Remember, that was after Mr Cummings drove to Barnard Castle, uh, testing his eyesight, he said, a trip out and so on. Um, at the time, she said, for the safety of others, anyone with coronavirus symptoms must self-isolate. In line with government guidance, guidance, they should not leave the house for any reason. Now, one of another uh, consequence of this, of course, is she may well face a, a fine. Um, in his uh, statement tonight, uh, Mr. Blackford has said that uh, she's referring herself to the Parliamentary Standards Commission as well as the police, and uh, the police have told uh, Sky News. This is Police Scotland. We're aware of the circumstances and are liaising with our colleagues in the Met, Metropolitan Police Service. So clearly a police investigation is underway. There has been an angry reaction from other political parties. For Labour, Ian Murray, the Sc Shadow Scottish Secretary, has talked about her astonishing recklessness. And he says... She's put passengers, rail staff, fellow MPs, common staff and many others at unacceptable risk. But uh, clearly, as we've heard, as you've read out the statement from Nicola Sturgeon, yeah. she is absolutely livid. Got another tweet uh, here from a political leader in Scotland, Douglas Ross, the uh, Scottish Conservative leader, and uh, he has just tweeted uh, that we are in the middle of a pandemic, travelling hundreds of miles on public transport. Having tested positive for this deadly virus is not a mistake. It's complete disregard for everything we are fighting against. At Margaret Ferrier must go with immediate effect. And uh, John, one imagines that he's not going to be the only one who's going to call for her to, to go altogether because we know, as you say there, that Ian Black, for the SNP's leader in Westminster, has removed the whip but uh, other parties wanting more. It's a 400-mile journey from Glasgow. It's, it's two very long journeys. 
And as, uh, as Ian Murray's saying, all the people she must have come into contact with on the train, railway stations, in Parliament, and the, the Speaker and others are very sensitive to the... You go over to Parliament and it's just full of signs, don't go there, don't go there, you know, one-way traffic are in, in all the corridors and so on. There will be fury uh, in, in Parliament at this and uh, I think she's looking potentially at a £1,000 fine and uh, it is conceivable that she may have to stand down uh, if uh, that does happen because uh, MPs will take this very, very seriously.